Hello everyone. Now let's talk about HTML injection vulnerability. So HTML injection is also called as rendering attack because instead of injecting JavaScript into a web application, we try to inject HTML code and if that web application is being rendered according to our HTML code, which means that web application is HTML injection vulnerable. So similar to cross-site scripting, HTML injection is also of two types, stored in which the user input is stored in database. The next one is reflected in which the user input will be not stored in the database and the response of that HTML injection can only be shown to the user who is actually injecting that HTML code. Now let's see how HTML injection works. Now let's see how we can exploit HTML injection vulnerability in Mutiny Day. So in this video, I'm taking the previous cross-site scripting challenges pages which we have covered in the last video but instead of adding a JavaScript in them, we will try to inject HTML code and we will see whether the Mutiliday web application is being rendered according to our HTML code. Here you can see that right now I am on Mutiliday web application. So let's go back to the previous challenges of the cross-site scripting. And here you can see that right now we are at this challenge set background color. So this challenge looks similar to the cross-site scripting. But now here, instead of adding a JavaScript, we will try to add HTML code. Okay, let me close this tag. Now let's add here h1 tag and let's see whether this web application or this page is being rendered according to this HTML tag. So let me just write down here HTML injection and let me close this h1 tag let's click over here set background color and here you can see that we are successfully able to execute HTML code here and here you can see that this web application this web page is rendered according to our HTML code here you can see our HTML h1 tag is executed so this is the reflected HTML injection. Now let's have a look at stored HTML injection. But before going, let's reset the database so that our previous JavaScript query, which, which was stored in the database, just get deleted. Now let's go here, cross search scripting second order and add to your block. Now in the last video, if you remember, then we just came to know that the TD tag is responsible for enclosing our input. Now let's give us, now let's just write hello and let's close the TD tag here and let's try to add any JavaScript code. So I'm adding a mark you tag here. And let me click on save blog entry and let's see whether we are able to exploit this page or whether we are able to execute the HTML injection here or not. Okay, so here you can see that our HTML code mark you tag is being executed and it's running here you can see. And in this video we have covered that what is HTML injection, there it's different types and here we will see that how we can exploit the HTML injection vulnerabilities. So I recommend you to practice these all challenges in your OS broken web application. And thanks for watching this video.